Paul, don't often start with injuries, but two big games over the Easter weekend. So let's start with the squad. How is it looking? Uh, a little bit threadbare, possibly. Um, we've got a few issues, as everyone knows. Um, I mean, we, I've even got a starting 11 of injured players at the moment, so that's uh, disappointing. But yeah, as I always say, it's next man up. Like, you can't cry about it now. Just got to try and do what we can. Obviously, Sonny's missing as well, so that's a, um, a blow. So, you know, we're going to have to look at different things. The good news is um, Nat's got a really good chance. So his scan result came back positive. So it's just to do with his scar tissue and that. But um, scans are all well and good. Uh, so if a scan says there's no issue, however, if the player feels pain, there is an issue, isn't there? So all they do is guideline the, the road back to recovery, really. So, um, but we're hopeful that Nat's going to be on the grass today and then he'll be available for selection, which is great because when I left the ground on Saturday with uh, everybody else, um, uh, disappointed with the result, obviously, um, but the way I think, like the result's over, quarter to five, there's nothing you can do about it, then you have to let it go, but then you have to reassess for the next game, and if you've got injuries and suspensions and all that as well, it makes it harder. So um, hopefully Nat will be available for this game. Uh, he won't train with the squad today, he'll train uh, with the physios on the grass and train with the squad tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but we don't, I don't honestly know yet, but if he isn't available for this, then He'd definitely be available for Pompey. I won't go through every single yeah, player um, because not. we'll be here a while. Um, but James Collins, I did want to ask about because he, yeah. he travelled to Northampton with you and, and um, yeah. doing bits ahead of the game. Great to see. Um, how close is he now? Yeah, he's close. Uh, he trained. Uh, we'll see what he's like in training today. Obviously, um, you know, Waggy uh, started the other day. Wash came on. Collo, the game was a bit too soon. He's still ahead of schedule. Uh, however, you know, if he, out of my strikers, is the best one in the next two days, then he can have the jersey. It's pretty simple, really. So, um, but he is he is really close. So, uh, in the way that, as long as he doesn't have some setback, uh, he'll definitely be in the squad for uh, Friday's game. You mentioned Northampton and the fact that the result is there, and, yeah. and you, you move on from it. How do you put it right? Uh, just as we always do, really. Like you just got to let it go. First and foremost, you have to try and learn from it. Like the lessons I asked the lads, what was the good parts of the game and what, you know, what do we learn from it? But realistically, it doesn't matter what the game is, what the opposition is. If you don't take your chances, you're never going to win. So we created probably four very good chances and conceded two very good chances and we didn't take them. And uh, whether we play well or not play well, it's always down to that. It's always down to that. So um, you can play a lot better and lose 3-0 or you can play significantly worse and win 2-0. So it's just about re-emphasising the fact that don't waste periods of the game. Don't think that look, we'll be OK. If it's a chance to take a lead in the first 10 minutes, you've got to try and take it. Just reassure the lads that they're in a good place. We would have took this place at the start of the season. We've done something with them uh, in a meeting on, so on Monday. We've done something with the lads about how where we were on the league table every month. Like duh, 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 duh. So the position you're in is really good, and which it is. And it's better to have points in the, uh, in the bag. And it's just disappointing that we didn't take anything from the weekend. But honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, I said last week that you're not going to win every game to the end of the season. And um, football has a nice way of uh, giving you a good crack. So, um, yeah, so we just take the positives from the performance. It wasn't great. We created enough chances to win. We didn't take it. Uh, and then, obviously, we get frustrated at the end, which is disappointing. But uh, we have to put a performance on in the next two games to uh, um, stay in the hunt. You faced Blackpool a couple of times already this season. No surprise to see them in and around the playoff front? No, they're good. Um, I've... You know, I've, I've always liked their squad, their players. I like Neil, like a good coach. They're difficult to play against, like at home in the in the cup. They embarrassed us, I openly admit that. We played well away from home. But, you know, in recent weeks, their form, I think they've won four, lost four, drawn one, something very similar to that. But you've got to look at the teams they've beat in that time. They beat Bolton, they beat Peterborough, uh, they drew with Portsmouth. So... Uh, they're a team that do very well against the better team. So, um, you know, this is as tough as uh, the Bolton game uh, looked on paper last week. So we're well aware of that. 